how to build a Ren house. The first step is when you decide to build a Ren house is to define the requirements. We want it to be the correct size, durable, and easy to clean. Once you know your requirements, then you start your research, looking into what is needed for a Ren house, looking at how other people have solved the problem, looking into materials, and even researching the tools you're going to use so that you know how to use them the correct way. The third step of the engineering process involves sketching out a design, deciding what you want, and then making a final design. Once you have a design that meets your requirements, it's time to come up with the, the steps of how to build it. For this birdhouse, we're going to need three pieces that are seven and a half inches long, cut out of our half inch cedar fencing that is five and a half inches wide and four feet long. You always measure from the edge twice and then you can draw a line through those two points. When you're using your handsaw, start off slowly with the pulling back motion until you get a bit of a groove, then you can hold it securely and go back and forth. Next we need two pieces at seven and a quarter inches for the front and back of the birdhouse. Again, make sure you measure from the end twice, and then you draw a line through those two lines. If you use a square, that can also help you line it up. The last two pieces that we need will be four and a quarter inches, and these are going to be the two sides of the birdhouse. Since it's getting a little short, you may want to clamp the pieces down so you can hold it more securely when you cut. One of the roof pieces needs to be skinnier than the other, so measure a half inch in from the edge twice and then connect the two points with a line. You need to cut that half inch off so that the two pieces of the roof will fit together nicely. Again, you may want to clamp it so it's easier to cut. Now we need to cut the front side and the back side to the shape of a house. So measure up four and a half inches on both sides of the front side. Then find the middle of the top of the front side. And then you're going to connect all of those points so that it makes a 90 degree angle. And if you use a square, it can make it an exact 90 degree angle. Cut the back side the same exact way. Then you're going to be ready to nail it together. Once you have all your pieces, you can see if they line up and fit together well. And Nailing and gluing the first sides together is a little bit difficult, so you may want to start your nails in the wood. That way then when you try to nail it together, it'll be a little bit easier. Apply a little bit of glue, not too much, just enough. Stick it together, and then you're going to proceed to nail in the nails. Alright, check out that the sides fit. Now we're going to glue and nail them into position. I'm going to start the nails so that it's a little bit easier.
Now we're going to glue and attach the front side. Next, we're going to attach the skinnier piece of roofing, gluing it, and then nailing it down. Before I attach the last piece of roofing, you could attach this birdhouse to a post or you can hang it up. So what I'm going to do is drill two holes in the roof pieces and run wire through them so that I can hang the birdhouse. The last two steps are to screw on that last piece of roofing so that I can remove it in the winter and clean out the birdhouse. Then I need to find the center line of the front, mark four inches up, and drill the hole for the wren. And in this case, I'm gonna use a one inch hole, which is the right size for a wren house. The final step of the engineering process is to think about what went well and what you would do differently in the future, and then communicate your results.